Alrighty, I forgot that I was tw over 20 and there was another uh, conjure request for me. So East from Yon says the following, Sylphie's Trials. Greetings, Mercy. You radiate the confidence of a conjurer who neglects not her study of the elements. I confess, I have no lesson for you to learn this day. Instead, I would ask that you aid me in the education of another. Yes, I speak of Sylphie. Yet, after no small amount of prompting, bordering on coercion, the child is finally promised to attempt to embrace the forces of nature. But I'm afraid the matter is not so easily resolved. Sylphie has never attempted to learn the basic offensive spells that you and most other conjurers master before first venturing into the wild. As such, she is ill-equipped to undertake the trials which furnished you and your peers with an understanding of the elements. Put simply, she is no match for the tainted spirits of nature. But if a more capable conjurer were to accompany her and purify the corruption in her stead, they may yet serve to impress upon her the power of the forces at work. I bid you take her on a pilgrimage around the Twelveswood and give her the opportunity to witness these confrontations firsthand. Earth, wind, water, she must know them all. Show her the majesty and primal ferocity of nature. As it was with you, let Earth be her first lesson. Sophia awaits you at Bent Branch Meadows. Pray forgive my presumption, but I thought it best to send her on ahead while her conviction remains strong. Once you have located the patch of corrupted soil at Bent Branch, draw forth the tainted sprite, uh, yeah, sprite and let her witness the struggle that ensues. May the elementals aid you in this endeavor, Mercy. We shall just teleport. 158 kill. And then we will fly. Oh, I want to fly like an eagle. Pardon the slight delay. My stupid. I have this weird thing that pops up that's uh, not weird. It's, it's part of my. Um, there's a program on the computer that turns, starts to eliminate the blue light a little bit. Oh, and then it depends on what time of day it is. And then, you know, it also depends on kind of what time of year it is as far as where the clock kind of is. I don't see, oh, there's Sylphie. So we're in the patch where, uh, they raised Gishel Greens. This is not the same place that I fought the Tainted Earth, but... She's just supposed to watch me? I thought she was supposed to participate in some way. So, I popped a, a Tainted Earth. Sylphie goes, ah! I wasn't scared. I, I was just a, just a little startled, that's all. If It was as if a mass of solid wrath had erupted from the ground. I've never felt anything like... I mean, um, never mind. We, we have to head to the Bannock next. Let's get this over with. And then we will Chocobo fly straight east, basically. Got to go around some trees and through some giant hollow tree things. Actually, it's in the middle of one, okay? Corrupted air in the middle of a giant hollow tree trunk. Tainted wind spirit. As usual, cast arrow on it. And then stone it to oblivion. And then talk to Sylphie. Gods! The wind blew straight through me. It felt both gentle and sharp at the same time. I, I can't explain it. This is something you can conjure? Let's be on our way. The last one is at Lilystone. Where the shit is that? Oh, okay. So we will fly mostly south and then a bit east. I don't know if I can fly over these hills. We will find out soon. If I can, I, oh yeah, I can, we're fine. We are flying over some water now. This might be a, a bay of some kind. Yeah, it could be a bay. We have no idea what lies to the east unless we can zoom out somehow. I forgot how to do that on this map. Central Shroud, let's, let's just go to Black Shroud. And it's just a bay. Hold on, where's it? Can I do a world map? Where's the world map? I can't do a world map. Okay, well. Down by the bay. Corrupted water.
So this version of stone is stone two, by the way. Stone one is like you conjure a few pieces of stone at your hand and you kind of basically fling them or shoot them towards the monster, the enemy. This one is you are conjuring just these giant, well, let's say six to seven foot tall pillars of stone that just erupt from the earth at the point of like where the enemy is standing. So you got like four or five pillars that just go, <laughs> it's cooler by far. And it hits sooner because the, the stone that you conjure that you throw that actually has travel time. So the lake is so beautiful. I never noticed how clearly the sky is reflected in its surface. I never noticed. Let's head back. I'm ready to speak with the guild master now. Okie dokie. Take our free teleport. Again, people are playing music. Um, where would the conjures go? One handedly pop our sprint. Back to E. Sumiyan. I'm assuming it's going to be a cutscene. Yep, fade to black. Welcome back, my avid conjurers. How fared you in your encounter with the elements? Sylvie, what did you sense as mercy cleansed the, the sources of corruption? It's hard to explain. It was like hearing voices crying out in joy. And I felt their happiness wash over me. The world seemed sharper, more alive. It was almost as if nature were speaking to me. But why, Brother Yusumi? Why did my mother teach me to avoid this side of conjury? What was she so afraid of? There are certain truths that hide behind the masks, the mask of our words, and there's much that your mother didn't tell you, but you needn't seek all the answers at once, Sylvie. And even now, your mind founders amid a sudden in inundation of awareness. The first time we connect with nature can be a wonderful but disorienting, disorienting experience. I suggest you allow yourself some time to adjust to this new perspective. Yes, Guildmaster. You nod to her as she looks at you and thanks. You have my gratitude, Mercy. Thanks to you, Sylvie has taken a most important step. You heard her mention voices crying out in joy, did you not? It appears the mother's gift has been passed to the aunt of the daughter. Such sensitivity is not something one can achieve through meditation and training, but a blessing that only a few fortunate chosen receive. And, as you have no doubt surmised, Sylvie's mother was one such person. The misunderstanding of that blessing, however, was what led her down such a tragic path. We cannot allow Sylphie's astonish, astonishing talent to consume her in the same manner. But we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. The girl has barely awoken to her potential. And for that potential to be fully realized, <clears throat> your support is yet needed. I suspect she, is, she failed to mention that the promise of your involvement uh, in her lessons was the reason for her change of heart. As you underestimate the impression your, your quiet determination has made on young Sylphie, it modestly... Ah, oh, so he said, ah, oh, you underestimate, okay. Makes more sense. If modesty prevents you from acknowledging your own good deed, consider this task a part of your training. For, for conjurers are healers of wounds, be they, be they physical or otherwise. Walk with her on her journey, Mercy, and together explore the myriad mysteries of nature. Okay, we got a new staff. Cool. Mind 4, Determination 4. A couple slots to put materia. Which I'm trying to keep up with this time. I don't do it very well on my other characters. Got some new... Ooh, hands or shoes? I'm going to have to restart this one. So, hands would be two mind, three spell speed. Shoes are three mind, three direct hit. Okay. Two, three spell, three, three direct. Two, okay, so crit, three, okay, we're gonna go, ooh, do the feet have materia slots? They do, okay, let's take the feet. Put those on, wait. Oh, I can't yet. 
Alright, that's all. We need one more level. That's fine. Put the staff on, though. And we, I think, are officially, for the rest of the time of being a conjurer white mage, we are no longer going to be using shields. Or wands. Um, so yeah, that's that. That is the end of... Sorry. Silphy's Trials. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Toodaloo.